Dear friends, this is part 5 of 20 questions out of 100 questions with answers for boiler personnel, like boiler operator, BOE and boiler technical staff. Please subscribe this channel and hit bell icon for more informative videos and stay connected with us. 1. What are the drum internals? These are the internal parts of steam drums utilized for separation of steam water mixture and for chemical dosing drum internals are 1. Cyclone separators 2. Chevrons 3. Demisters 4. HP dosing connection 5. Feed water connection 6. CBD line 2. What do you mean by steam separation? It is the process of separating bulk water particles from steam. 3. What are the various methods used for separation of water particles from steam? 1. Centrifugal separation method. 2. Use of baffles. 3. Abrupt change of steam water mixture direction. 4. By gravity method. 5. Direct hitting on plates. 4. What is dry pipe in boilers? Dry pipe is the perforated pipe fitted at the most height level of boiler to provide dry steam. Around 98%. 5. What are the boiler auxiliaries? These are the system or equipments used in boilers to boost of the boiler efficiency and performance. These are 1. Economizer. 2. Super heaters. 3. Air preheaters. 4. Boiler fans and pumps. 5. Soot blowers. 6. Water storage tank. 7. Chemical dosing system and. 8th is PRVS. 6. What are boiler mountings? These are the devices used for safe operation of boilers. Mountings are. 1. Safety valve. 2. Boiler level gauge. 3. Steam stop valve and denovi. 4. Startup vent valve. 7. Why do ID fans and FD fans are not installed before ESP and after APH respectively? This is for reducing fan size and load on it. As flue gas and air volume is more at higher temperatures, in order to drag and push these high temperature flue gas and air need to install bigger size fans. 8. What type of impellers used in ID and FD fans and why? Backward curved fans are used, as these offer very less resistance to rotate. 9. Why do you use superheated steam in power plants? More heat is with superheater steam and more enthalpy drop available and hence more efficiency. And also superheater steam is having no water particles due to this equipment's life increases. 10. What is the necessity of forced circulation in high-pressure boilers? As the pressure increases beyond 150 kg per centimeter square up to 220 kg per centimeter square density of steam and water becomes same and hence there will not be any chance for natural circulation due to density difference. Hence there need arises for forced circulation. 11. Do you prefer soot blowing after shutdown of boilers? Generally no. Because soot blowing may result into explosion due to leftover unburnt fuel and hot ash. 12. What do you mean by wire drawing in boilers? It is the process of steam expansion and no any work done or loss. It happens in orifice, flow meters and throttled valves. In pressure relief valve and pressure control valve stations does not contribute in work done or loss and hence upon reducing pressure of normal, saturated steam steam, it becomes superheated. 13. What will happen if economizer in lead feed water temperature drops? Lower feed water temperature at economizer in lead lead to more absorption of heat from flue gases. This causes drop in flue gas temperature, may lead to acid corrosion. 14. What will happen if economizer outlet feed water temperature increases more than design? More feed water temperature at economizer outlet may lead to steaming of water, which could ultimately cause overheating and failure of economizer tubes. This happens in low load operation. 15. What is the recommended flue gas temperature at air preheaters and electrostatic precipitators? It is more than acid dew point temperature to avoid corrosion of materials. 
for coal and biomass fired boilers it is always greater than 140 degrees Celsius 16. What will happen to the enthalpy of steam if its pressure increases and temperature remains constant? Its enthalpy decreases. 17. What will happen to the enthalpy of steam if its temperature increases and pressure remains constant? Its enthalpy increases. 18. What will happen to the enthalpy of steam if its temperature and pressure increase? Enthalpy increases. 19. What will happen to the enthalpy of evaporation of saturated fluid if its pressure increases? Enthalpy of evaporation decreases if pressure is increased. 20. What will happen to the enthalpy of evaporation of saturated fluid if its temperature increases? Enthalpy of evaporation decreases if temperature is increased. Dear friends, hope you enjoyed this part 5th session of Boilers Questions and Answers. Please hit like icon to encourage us to make this channel more effective. Please subscribe this channel for more technical informative videos. Thank you. Good luck.